Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we are trying out all of my November 2022 Ipsy Bag products. Uh, we have some great skincare in this month's bag. We've got um, some leave-in conditioner to try out and a new um, angled brush. So um, if you would like to see a review on all these products and what I think, then please keep watching. Okay guys, so I'm first trying out this Kinship Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. So this is, um, I've been using this after I'm done in the shower, done cleansing my face. This has a wonderful like anti-inflammatory factors to it, super soothing, feels wonderful, and I can really feel the difference in the hydration. So I'm going to uh, throw on this Mark Anthony Coconut and Shea Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. I'm just going to pull that through, give it a good brush, and then we'll just let that air dry. Check back in on that one later. It says to apply it from root to tip. I don't agree with that. I will not put leave-in conditioner on my roots, so we'll check back in in just a minute. Okay, guys, uh, we will talk um, more about the uh, leave-in conditioner um, once my hair's dried. It's still a little wet. I just threw it out of the way, um, so we could try out. I've done, please don't mind my cold, um, I have done my normal foundation routine, which is my Wet n Wild, um, <clears throat> excuse me, Photo Focus. This is the matte formula in the shade Bronze Beige. This is my, like, I decided to go back to and forgot how much I love Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundation. So, um, in addition to loving that foundation, I really feel like, this toner, which was in the Ipsy bag, is helping a lot. This is the Byro New York a Bitter Green Essence Toner. This is really, like, soothing me in the evenings. Um, and then I'm throwing on, like you saw, this Kinship um, Super Mellow Hydrating Gel Cream. Moisturizer, this feels amazing. So, yes, I love the foundation, but I definitely feel like your skincare routine is really going to make a difference on how... Uh, the rest of your uh, products perform. Um, so, so far so good on all of these Ipsy products. Um, so now I have left uh, this uh, Benefit Cosmetics. They're real. These are the, um, this is the little uh, mascara. I'm excited to try these, but uh, I figured while we're here, what did this brush say it was for? I probably should have saved it. Um, this is the Firma Beauty 405 Precision Angled Blending Brush Pro. Let's see. Highlighter, contour, small areas. All right. Well, we're just going to use it as like a crease brush. Um, it seems a little big to me to be contouring with this. I mean, unless you're going to like, unless they mean, that's probably what they mean, not bronzing, but like a, a chiseled contour. I definitely couldn't use this on my nose. It's going to be too big. So if you want to contour the cheeks <clears throat> and jawline with this, maybe, but I don't do that. I just bronze. So I'm going to use it as a crease shade. So what do I want to try? I'm just going to use my Lottie. I'm just going to use my bronzer and I'm going to throw it in the crease and let's see how this, let me get in here. Let's see how this looks. It's a little fluffy, but... I mean, I'm not going for like a really defined look. I don't even think you can see that. Maybe I should use something darker. It seems to be working just fine. Um, it's a little too fluffy for the eyes now that I've got it on here. It's super soft. Feels very comfortable. Let me just get a darker... Let's just play around here. This is my Luscious Cosmetics Contour Kit. I'm going to take the Dark Contour Shade, which is this one, and why don't we just use it for what it says to use it for. Um, I can see the natural shadow of where my cheekbones would be, so just kind of draw that in. It works. I'm just not like, I already bronzed, so I guess that's my mistake, but. Oh, 
oh my gosh, it's coming across so much darker on the screen. It really doesn't look this drastic like this one. But if you know what you're doing <laughs> with a contour, this brush is wonderful. I mean, everyone knows Firma has great brushes. So let me just like try to blend this out because I feel like I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't like contouring. It's just bronzing is enough. I'm not trying to like fool anybody, you know, but that works nice. That works nice if, you know, you wanted to have like a really precise, full glam kind of look that brush would be perfect for doing a contour. So now we're going to get into what I'm super anxious to try. So this mascara, Benefit Cosmetics, says it's power lifting and lengthening. 40% um, longer, 40... Oh, 40% longer. So it's not volumizing? Did I just read it was volumizing? Power lifting and lengthening. This might not be good for me. False lashes have really taken a toll on my natural lashes. Um, so I don't know. We're going to see. I'm going to jump up to you. I'm going to get right in here and we can see how this goes. I didn't want to put on any liner yet so you could truly see how this mascara works. Oh, no. Okay, one coat. Do we see a difference? Let me look. Hmm. Okay. Let's just keep going. I mean, let's be honest with each other here. There's nobody that stops after just that one little coat. So we'll just keep building that up. It's starting to look clumpy. So I'm going to stop there. I definitely see a difference. Um, I wonder if you can notice it. Let's throw this on the bottom lashes. It says they're lengthening, so... We want to have the length down here, too. My bottom lashes are wonderful. I never have a problem there because I haven't damaged them with lash glue and strip lashes. But, wow, that's a good test because, my, like I said, my bottom lashes aren't, like, damaged. So you can really see. Let me throw on another. I just don't want it to get too clumpy. But considering what I've done to my natural lashes. Let me jump up. You can really see a difference here. Besides my smudging, but um, I I like it. Uh, if I wanted to use an eyelash curler, that would probably help even more. But I I don't like it. it. Makes me nervous to squeeze my eyelashes, like sandwich them. So I just like push up from the base with like a makeup brush, so it kind of dries more upward. You see that? It's a pretty good comparison. You can definitely see it's working. I mean, if you want a nice natural look, you, everyone watching me knows I, I have to have my falsies, but it wouldn't hurt 
to let my natural lashes breathe and just be themselves <laughs> for once in a while and just throw this mascara on, especially if I'm not planning to go anywhere. So let me just put this on the other eye and I'll probably finish off my makeup and then we can talk about um, the leave-in conditioner, the Marc Anthony Cocoa and Shea Hydrating Leave-In Conditioner. So uh, we'll see how this one works out. Look what I just did. Putting it on my bottom lashes. I completely smacked it against my bottom lid. Oh, it's kind of coming off. Really, you should let it dry and then just flake it off. But who else has this problem where everything goes wrong? This is why I don't deal with mascara very often. Um, here's just while I'm here. I like this mascara, 100% official. I would totally not wear false lashes. Probably wait for this to dry and do like another coat. Actually, I did not uh, give these ones a little push, so let me do that. I wish it was volumizing and lengthening because my lashes just look so sparse. But I'm very impressed by this. Highly recommend this one. For sure. Okay, rest of makeup and then we'll talk about hair. Okay, so here is the leave-in conditioner. This is air-dried, just brushed, not styled. Um... It's a little bit damp still, but I'm a super impatient person and I just want to get this filmed and show you uh, the results. So, I mean, it looks okay. It, my hair combed through pretty easily. My tangles were coming out um, better than normal. It does feel heavy. And let me just show you the ends because you know how damaged my ends are. Um... So they're looking okay. I mean, they're not going to look great <laughs> because I need like three inches cut off. But it feels good. It just feels heavy. And I didn't use a lot. I, what you saw on film was, it was just two tiny little dollops was all that I used. So... I would definitely, I'm going to continue to use it. I mean, I definitely notice that it's helping the condition of my hair, but I don't like the feeling of it. Like it's, it feels like it's pulling down and I have thin hair. So that's not common for me to have that problem where my hair feels heavy. So yeah, I mean, I'm pleased with it. I, like I said, I'll continue to use it. Not my favorite of this Ipsy bag. Uh, the brush is fine. I mean, it's a brush. Um, the face products, the toner, and the moisturizer, that's awesome. They're they are doing good things for me. I can definitely feel and see a difference. Um, but again, I always like to talk about my favorite product from each bag. So this month, it's definitely going to be this mascara. Now, I did throw on some false lashes. I threw on these Kiss Look So Natural lashes. So that's what I'm wearing. Um, but mascara like this doesn't have to just be worn on its own. When you have a good base mascara, your lashes are going to rest so much better. They're, they're just naturally going to be lifted because they're resting on lifted natural lashes. So again, love the mascara. You you can wear it alone or you can use it to really help your falsies have a nice sturdy place to rest and stay lifted all day. So um, I'm pleased with this month's products. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this mascara? What are your thoughts? If you're a falsie wearer, would you ever leave the house with just this on? That's like the big question. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I always appreciate the support and please revisit.